We've had a look at how to break lists apart and put them together. But what if we want to change the order of the elements in a list? Well, we can do that too with the logic language. So here are anagrams in logic. A permutation of the elements in a list, which of those elements are letters will be an anagram, is either the empty list for an empty list, so that's a base case, or is the first element of the list inserted somewhere into an anagram of the rest of the list. Now when you state facts like this in English, they translate directly into facts stated in the logic language. However, we need to be able to define the terms that we use in those statements. So here we have something about an element being inserted into the rest of the list. So let's understand how to insert an element into a list. So that's a relation that has three subrelations, an element, the rest of the list, and then a inserted into the rest of the list. Now, this is not the whole thing. This is just the base case where we have the element, the list, and one way to insert that element into the list is just to stick it on the front. So that's what we have here. That's the simplest way to insert that element in the list. But there should be other ways too. You should be able to put it in the middle. Now the way you put it in the middle, when you've represented lists always recursively in the way that we have, is that we have to put it in and then add more elements onto the front. So what this says here is that if I can insert A into R in order to get S, where here S is a list with A somewhere in it because I've inserted A into R and now I have S which is just the elements of R with A in there somewhere in the middle. Well then it's the case that I can build an even longer list also with A somewhere in it just by attaching some element B onto the front of R and doing the same thing with S. Okay, so now we have a notion of insertion. We can finish defining anagrams according to the definition that we have above. The empty list for an empty list. Or, an anagram is the first element of the list inserted into an anagram of the rest of the list. So here's the first element of some list which starts with A and then is followed by R. That's going to form some permutation or some anagram B. If it's the case that I can insert A into S to get B, and by the way, S is an anagram of R. Okay, so what's going on here? I'll start with the letters ART. I'm going to break off the first A. I'm going to think of all permutations of R and T, and then I'm going to insert A into their various positions. So one way to permute RT is just to keep it in the order it's already in. And then I could put A in the front, A in the middle, or A at the end, getting art, rat, and rita. Or I could shuffle RT to be T and R. And then I have to think of all the ways of inserting A into that. So I could have at or tar and tra. And those are all the anagrams I can form from art, defined by this program. Let's take a quick look at how it works. So the first thing we have here is a definition of insert. And we should probably make sure that insert does what we think it does. So what happens if I insert the number one into a list that's just a bunch of dashes? What result will I get? Let's run this and find out. So I can insert it in the front or anywhere in the middle. So these are all different lists that I get out if I insert one in there. And by the way, if I can have a query with multiple relations, then I can do multiple inserts. So I could say, this is what I get when I insert one. And then what happens when I insert two into S1? Well, then I have all these different options of inserting one anywhere I want and two anywhere I want as well. And we get some kind of pretty looking pattern. Okay, so insert just inserts a single element, the point of anagrams is to shuffle all the elements in a list. And the recursive definition 
was that I can make an anagram out of a dot r into b if it's the case that I can insert, insert a into some s in order to get b, where s is the anagram of r. Then I can ask, what are all the anagrams of some list, like s, t, a, r? OK, I run the program, and it lists them all for me. Star, straw, sauter, sart, strut, srat, tsar, tsra, taser, arst, arts, even rats. Neat. All in just a handful of lines of the logic programming language.